like Mr. Ashby so eloquently put it, we are the Ship of Fools. We are an improv comedy group here at Purdue University. Uh, to get started tonight, we're going to have to tell Kate to get out. Get out, Kate. We're going we're to start with a game we call the Staircase. Now, we're going to get five suggestions that Kate has to guess. They're all going to be conveyed to her by these five people one at a time, and our group's going to get bigger and bigger until all five people are conveying something. So, Joe, come on. For Joe to convey, we need a famous personality, real or fictional, alive or dead. Roger! Robin Williams! Robin Williams! Robin Williams! I think I know him. Alright, Mike. Next up, Julia, uh, I need an activity that two people can do that isn't spelunking. Holy shit! Wait, 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 wait. There are two soulmates in this audience who just said spelunking at the same time. The Gemini. One's too shy. Spelunking. Cave exploring. Jeremy. Oh wait, yeah. We need a, a famous movie. Your, what's your favorite movie? Harry Harry. The Lion King. The Lion King. <laughs> the Lion King is the movie. Uh, next is Adam. We need a, a location that could not fit in this room. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jamaica. Jamaica. And Becky. We need a historical era. French Revolution. The French Revolution. All right, let's review. Becky, what do you got? French Revolution. Jamaica, Lion King. Spelunky. Robin Williams. Awesome. We're going to convey those one at a time. Um, when Kate gets one, she's going to move on to the next person. So we have all five, and she's going to guess all of them. Then we'll get started with a long form scene that will incorporate some, a lot, hopefully everything that you just suggested to us. So let's get Kate back in here with yelling her name on three. One, two, three. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Shout out, Shout out, Shout out, Shout feed the lions enough. That was your only requirement with the job. That was the only thing in the job description. Feed the lions. Well, I wanted, I wanted them to decide their own future, to make their own lion monarchy. Show me they that. had to eat each other. I say we have a lion democratic system. No, no, no. Uh, Kill that guy. Roger, what? I demand, I demand a recount. <laughs> Go back! <laughs> 
This is the 21st century, okay? We get to decide... Well, I thought they should decide too. No, we get to decide who gets democracy and who doesn't. It's the yeah, way of the land. That's, that's what I'm saying. The lions, they didn't work. There was a big gap between, you know, upper level lions and working class lions. Yeah, I know politics, I know the economy, all right? I know how I can apply to lions 1% of the lions got 99% of the meat. <laughs> it wasn't right. Somebody needed to make a stand, and that someone was me. Oh, it was you. So you're going to go campaign now? Is that it? Maybe I will. Well, good luck. It's going to be real tough. Cut to making a stand. Everybody! Everybody! Lions are people, too! <laughs> rabble, 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 Yes! Are, are lions... Lions... Or people? people? Lions are people. Sir, I am a zoologist, and I know for a fact that Animalius Linus is not homo sapien. Do you know? People! Tell me, do you believe this educated East Coast zoologist? Or do you trust your heart? I trust the man on the stick on the chair! Yay! Am I a lion? No. But I'm people. You're a fucking idiot? <laughs> Are lions people? Yes! <coughs> well then, ideally one of these people could be a lion. The Democrats! We. Uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. The part of the revolution, I see, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you are a revolutionary. <laughs> I could tell by your distinct characteristics of your answer. You are one of us, you are our brothers. We. Oui. And your French is impeccable. Balebu <laughs> Francais! Balebu, balebu. I I am French revolutionary. I know secret handshake. <coughs> You sound Cuban to me. Oh, uh, no, no, long live French. Oh, no, a fake French mustache. Just treason. Uh, uh, Your head will be put on the block. You would not do that to a. But first, we need some answers. Who sent you to spy on our revolutionary no, progress? No I came of my own accord. <laughs> so, this is the plan. You infiltrate the French revolutionaries and you bring down their tobacco production. <laughs> tobacco? Oh. Tobacco! <laughs> Cuba is the only one who's gonna have tobacco <laughs> around here. Yes. You make the best cigars in the world! That's why no one else gets any! I spelled revolutionary wrong. <laughs> so our interrogation methods thus far have not worked on you. We have not yet gotten the answer from him. We must employ the Trinity Twister. No. <laughs> I've heard of your French brutality. <laughs> and it is swift and just. <laughs> you will make my nipples purple like the combination of we your flag make, colors. We will make your nipples bleed if you cannot tell us the answers. All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> Can you wait to tell us in, tell us in two minutes? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Ah! Ah! Okay, now tell us, Bruce. That was that was eight seconds. Be lucky it wasn't the end, or whatever the number is for the French. It's just not of importance to me. They are the same language as the Spanish, and this is why you come. Yes, I was I was sent here to take away your smokes. <gasps> A smoke. The smokes are inferior to our Caribbean smokes. <laughs> Cuba and Jamaica have the best smokes. Ah! <laughs> yes, it, French comrade. <laughs> and that is our secret. Anyway. I don't that. We are not wasteful people. Now, it is time for another form of anti torture. The massage, the French massage. Oh. Oh. It will reveal 
all of your secrets. Uh, I will make pleasant ocean breeze sounds. My middle name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel? <laughs> what are you doing? You are telling us all your secrets. And now who sent you? I, I, I told you. I told we want, you. We want a specific name. The big guy from Cuba, was it, no? The big guy. Senor Fidel? Fidel. Fidel the first? The first. <laughs> I'll Google it. It is a strange device run by steampunk technology, no? What did you find? His name's Castro. <laughs> Castro Fidel the first. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, hey. No! My smoke. You will get it back. It tastes like poop, and conveniently it looks as such. You know, we could use his help. We could use his help overthrowing our king. That is our most important issue right now. No? It is not the most important of issues? Cut to overthrowing the king. All right. We've been training you yeah. for months now to overthrow our king. Can I get one more massage before I go? Okay. We'll go over the mission specs. Okay, so I hand him the exploding cigar. Yeah. He smokes it. And you light it for him. Light. As a sign of your trust. Then what? Then? You go like this. Give him the smoke. Ah, uh, Mr. French King. <laughs> you want to use the king? This would be my dog. Oh. Come on, tell me. Are you the man? Monsieur King, you need anything? Like a lighter? A lighter? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. See, yes. Oui. Lighters. Do it. I, I will let you go. Now, Johnson, I want you to guard this time machine with your life. No traveling back, no introducing anachronistic to hack deck that there. What is that word? Anachronistic. There we are. Don't introduce those back then. Got it. Okay. Guard my life with the time machine. No, Go no, back in time. No, introduce no. anachronistic no, things. No, no, don't. The opposite of all of that. <laughs> time travel is very complicated and silly, as I understand it from the BBC. So, what you're going to do is not do any of that. You sit in this chime chair, which is just a regular chair with the word time written on it, and you keep anyone from touching these dials. Yes, time traveler. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. You are back. so welcome. From Dallas. Oh, wait, do you need help? No, oh. you must. You must take me to the present. I must see the state of my America. Well, I don't know. As long as you don't touch the dial, I think it's okay. This dial? Oh, well, oh. next time, don't do it. <laughs> oh. In Hello, Re Romans. You have brought me to the Romans. They are Catholic, like myself. Catholic? You be friends! You be Catholic? Uh, yes, I be Catholic. You must be the Pope. It's a pleasure to meet you, Your Highness. It's a great day for America. Nice to meet you. My name is Catholic the First. Catholic the First. Catholic the First. And you are? John F. Kennedy. <laughs> I'm not worthy to I am from the Bostonian age. The Bostonians? The Bostonians. Wait a minute. I thought we conquered the Bostonians. <laughs> In a way, yes, you did. All right. So, Viceroy Obama <coughs> says the timeline has been damaged. You should know. He's the Viceroy, after all. Well, I did. It wasn't me. It was a different time machine. Yeah? Yes. This appears to be the only time machine in our charts. My god, it is! I want you to go home and think about what you've done, and be careful, the pterodactyl level's at four today. <laughs> hey. Yes? I know. I'm you. <laughs> right, that concludes our test. To see if you could actually believe that you were a time traveler. I'm a time traveler! Unfortunately, we can't uh, use your data at this time, as you're completely fucking insane. I am a, I saw a dinosaur! 
Miss Edwards, we can't use your data. I was. This, this, it was this, me. This is a cardboard I, box. It was me. Yeah, this is a cardboard box, and I touched the dial, and I saw myself. That was me in a costume. <laughs> Wig, fake boobs, everything. <laughs> Beyond the check for the Kennedy deal bounced. Oh shit! I got a twenty on you. You know what? It doesn't matter. I can go back in time without your help. Yeah. Um. You know what? We have a different time machine. It's right out. Wait. She's actually crazy. Exit. I thought she was <laughs> method. I don't need you. Just I go. can get my own time yeah. machine. It's right out. Right out the door. <laughs> I don't know how much longer the oxygen will hold out. Well, since I turned off the machine, I'm not thinking much longer. I'm gonna die. Yes, you are, Grandpa. <laughs> but about that inheritance. Inheritance? Yeah, I know you said you would leave everything to uh, my brother, but he's a little bit... Leave everything to me! Leave everything! Stay with me! Come on! Ah, peanut butter? That's right, Grandpa, peanut butter. My sister said nothing about the inheritance. You're right, Jeffrey. I loved you more. I know. Ding dong! <laughs> Oh, what's that? You're dying? You're dying? Oh, no! Leave everything to Jessica! Oh, I believe! I believe! I get all the Skittles! <laughs> and the Reese's Cups? Yes, all three! <laughs> so you're telling me your grandma just had World War II era candy to stashed under the house? That is correct. <laughs> Can I try some? Dude, this stuff is gold. Yeah, that's why we need to eat it. You can't just eat it. You have to. Can I trust you? Yes. Okay. Just give me the red okay. light. You need. You need to understand. All right. When you eat this, you're eating history. Okay. Like, dude. Like, this is heavy. I mean, it's not physically history. heavy. It's history, and it's it's heavy. Don't eat. Don't eat my history. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he was reincarnated as a fly. He's always buzzing around. <laughs> History with a creamy nougat filling. Eat it. No, no. <clears throat> Do it. You bastard. Do you feel? <laughs> Do you feel? These are stale. <laughs> you don't get it, dude. I thought you got it, and now you gotta give it back. Uh, no, no. What, Grandpa? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> This is your fault, dude! That fly just lifted like half a pound. Yeah! <laughs> he was a bodybuilder and he kept it, okay? Don't mess with these guns! You! <laughs> that fly is ripped! You have incurred his wrath! All I did was take his candy, you! Metamorphosis! <laughs> <laughs> Deal. 
you enjoy. Welcome back to Inside the Actor Studio. My guest today is the esteemed Robin Williams. Now, Robin, I understand that for your work in this is Doubtfire. You traveled around San Francisco in drag for three months. How was that? Well, 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 experience. <laughs> well, it, it was pretty interesting. But, uh, you know, sometimes uh, I gotta say it wasn't it wasn't easy. San Francisco and drag. It's sounds like we have a question from one of our oh, students here at the oh, actor yeah, studio. Please, please, please. Yes. Hi. Um. My name's uh, uh, John, and uh, we met in San Francisco. And uh, oh. I just wanted to ask you a question, Mrs. Doubtfire. Will you let me be Mr. Doubtfire? <laughs> Aww. This is a first inside the actor studio. Uh, I don't know what to say. Hi. Say yes. <laughs> or like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, Got to 15 years later. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I oh. hate you more. Not you, kid. I mean, I hate you too, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, marrying you was the best thing that ever happened to me. And I was just a stand-up comedian doing cheesy kids movies. But you, yeah, you brought me alive, and I can never, I can never ever repay you for that. Daddy, will you do the dirty jokes again? Oh, I can't do the dirty jokes. Ever since, ever since the operation, I can't, I can't, I can't think of anything funny anymore. <laughs> Cut to the operation. <laughs> so I'm having a humorectomy. I want this out, okay? Take out that gross part where he sweats a bunch. Yeah, <laughs> and his hair too. Oh. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Oh. Waxing. <laughs> ah! Arise, Robinstein! <laughs> ah! He has, his reactions are a little delayed. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I? Say something. Say, say something, Robinstein. You guys want to go out for golf? <laughs> Gentlemen, we've succeeded. Yeah! Ah! Robber, 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 robber. So, um, you, uh, mask guys, um... Doctors. Doc? Doctors. Doctors. I was, doctors. I was a doctor once. It's in a movie, it's in a movie, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, how is this going to put me back? Doctor, doctor. Well, that hair can go for several tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> is this a Sasquatch pelt? <laughs> That, what you're holding right now, is hair taken from a domesticated Robinstein. <laughs> they are the rare. only one of its kind. <clears throat> All right, I'll pay, uh, how about tens of thousands of dollars? No! <laughs> I am Robinstein's biggest fan. I will pay you my soul for well, that. Uh, I'm oh. clearly under, wait, wait, what? And so. <gasps> and see! <laughs> Audience, we're the ship of fools. We are Falafel, Josiah, Nebraska, Chaos, Cha Cha, Vinyl, and I am Taylor Turtle Dove Dane. Uh, next up, we have I don't actually I'm not the one introducing the next person. Screw that. We're gonna end like we always on all our shows with a slow clap. Time out. Time in. Thank you.